one of president's view in priority area and the fight against corruption as he say corruption are one thing really about developments are in the country because of this reason make the anti-corruption commission turn the push for this fight as the commission they investigate different case them francis ben kaifala now the anti-corruption commission boss he starts for talk about some of the investigation them where the commission don't do so far several things have been happening as you know cases are being investigated on a scale that probably have never been seen before. In this period under review, which is the five months period, we have a 100% conviction rate. In that regard, there are certain cases which are still being investigated. One of them, the case involving the National Revenue Authority has been settled. It is not every case that has to go to court go through the rigors of trial, particularly where the issues involving in that case are not a previous court. Francis Ben Kaifala Kerion say the commission gets other case them where they get for investigates. The other cases pending, the Ebola investigations, our team are still combing through information, trying to confirm those aspects of the investigations that ought not to be tried and some will be tried. There is an investigation that has been completed and involves a high profile public official. The youth village, the youth farm investigation, which involves the Ministry of Youth, the driver's union matter has been completed, investigation has been completed. The matter is with prosecution for advice to determine whether the current executive of the driver's union are liable to their members and a section of the people of the Leone for them to be put on trial. We are investigating into non-payment of tax by institutions, supermarkets, huge business entities, commercial institutions that go into millions and sometimes billions of loans. Some of them have been outstanding for three, four, five years. Because of this fight with the commission they are now, make them get deeper and body them, within they work with, like the civil society and the media, who side into institution here, yeah. the representative don't say they are ready for work with the commission for end this fight against corruption. We as civil society consortium of service delivery have become part of the ACC structure helping them with basic information using our platforms because we have the biggest community structure across the country. We want to take ACC beyond the regional headquarter towns, the capital cities, the district level, the kingdom level. We want to take the fight against corruption at the community people. Service delivery is at the community level. These are very important uh, moments for the anti-corruption commission. The commission is now being driven with renewed uh, energy to fight corruption. As citizens, and uh, more um, importantly as journalists, we have a critical role to uh, play in ensuring that we tackle corruption head-on. We are, or we should be, an integral part of the fight against corruption. Training in understanding some of the uh, act itself before they can narrate these things, they should be in a position to handle it. Must be end up call on government and the public for support the commission so that they will continue for fair corruption, come out in a salon. For Radio Democracy, Princess Piers reports.